Hello, welcome to MediCorea. This is a playlist where I check and respond to questions from the public. Someone asked me, can someone get peptic ulcer disease from a kiss? Kissing is something that we do in our everyday life to express love for people that we care about. Take an example of a father who returns from work and misses his son so much and gives him a kiss. Or let's say you have a baby sister who loves meat but has loose teeth so you decide to chew the meat for her so that she can eat it. Or let's say you've just taken your marriage vows and the priest tells you that it's time to kiss the bride. Well, I, well, I guess it's time you reign for your life. Peptic ulcer disease can be caused by a variety of causes. Over 90% of the cases of peptic ulcer disease are caused by a bacterium called H. pylori. If you want to sound like a scientist, you can call it Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylori is transmitted through different modes. One of the major modes which is often neglected is the oral oral route. This is because the bacterium is present in the saliva of individuals who are infected with it. The interesting bit about this bacterium is that some individuals who are infected with the bacterium have symptoms whereas others do not. In other words, some people are carriers even when they do not look sick. Statistics show that in the developed countries, over 40% of the people carry H. pylori. Whereas in the developing countries, 70 to over 90% of the people are infected with H. pylori. So before you kiss, be sure that you are not infected with H. pylori or the person you're kissing is not infected with H. pylori. H. pylori can be transmitted by other modes, which I will cover in a separate video. Likewise, peptic ulcer disease can be caused by other causative agents other than H. pylori, which I will also discuss in a separate video. To make sure you do not miss out on this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and to turn on your notifications so that you get notified when I upload the video. So the big question here is, is kissing still a good part of our culture? Please let me know what you think in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to the channel. And if there is someone out there that you care about, do share this video with them so you can get this useful information. Thank you and see you next time.